on the good gesture. Sauti. Okay. Uh, we want to thank you for the good work you have done. The books are very uh, good. They have assisted our learners uh, in developing their language. Mm -hmm. So we have given them, we have we us we usually issue the books to the learners. We want to enhance their reading. We want to enhance the culture of reading to our learners. So we thank you for the work, the good work you have done. And we promise that the book that you are continuing to wish to bring to us, they are going to be of use to our learners. What is your name? My name is Catherine. Catherine. Yeah. Catherine Mudoni. My name is Roy. Okay. 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 So, and tell everybody what you what you teach. Uh, I teach history and Kiswahili. Yeah. So even uh, if we need the books, mm -hmm. because uh, in Kiswahili, learners can. Uh, even they can interpret mm -hmm. if they read in English, mm -hmm. they can be able even to interpret it mm -hmm. in Kiswahili. So the books are going to be of benefit to both the languages, both the English and Kiswahili. What are the ages of your learners? How old are they? Uh, most of the learners are between uh, eight years to 15. Eight years to 15. Yeah. So they, they, they are developing the skill mm -hmm. of uh, reading, mm -hmm. yes. So what is your biggest challenge? What do you need the most help with? Okay, uh, books. We don't have story books, most story books, mm -hmm. we need them. So that mm -hmm. we only have post books. So mm -hmm. we, and we have a lot of time sometimes. Mm -hmm. So if we don't have books, mm -hmm. most story books, the learners will not be able to, to have that skill. Mm -hmm. So we need more storybooks and any other material. They need to know about history. They need to know what's going on uh, in the world. So if you have those books, they, they can be able to read and know what other countries are doing. Okay. Yeah. Well, I brought some messages for you from the United States. Okay. From children. Mm -hmm. And these are little notes of encouragement that you can give to your students. Thank you. Uh, and I'm hoping that your students can write some notes to take, for me to take back to the children in America. Okay. So here are some pens and some other notes. And then I have a lot of blank notes. <laughs> so if you can, uh, yeah, they, they fall apart easily. <laughs> But the children uh, over there create notes that go to people that are old, uh, people who are policemen or firemen, uh, military veterans, to give them hope and encouragement. Uh, and so when I became associated with this organization called Pebbles and Stars, I said, can you give me some notes to take to Africa? Uh, and they said, sure. And she gave me a lot. Uh, Mm -hmm. So I hope you, you can use those however you want. Uh, some people use them as a reward for students uh, for doing well. Uh, some just pass them out. It's up to you how you want to use those notes. But I hope that, that you can pass some of these blanks around and they can write notes back to the children in America. Yes. Nothing it goes back. In another school you were in at Kabwaza, a student wrote a letter and for him he chose to take it back. Mm -hmm. So they can also write a letter. Mm -hmm. Even okay. in Kwangendo okay. they wrote a letter. There's we haven't been to Kwangendo. Kwangendo, Kwangendo. Kwangendo, yeah. Yes, yeah. they wrote a letter. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's a way of communicating through mm -hmm. outreach programs. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you.